Hi guys, welcome to Beginner Techies. In this video, I'm going to discuss about two some problem. This is the most frequently asked question in coding interviews. And uh, so let us uh, understand the problem statement first. So we have uh, one array of integers given, right? And there is one target. We have to return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target. So, right. So you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element tiles. You can return the answer in any order. So answer can be any order, right? in any order. So we have, uh, yeah, so we have this input uh, examples given 271115, right? Four elements are there in array, target is nine. So if we see two plus seven, we have to only add two numbers and get the target, right? So if we check 2 plus 7, 2 plus 7 is equal to target. So this 2 and 7 indices will be the output, 0 and 1 will be the output. Similar way, if we check this 3, 2, 4, so here the target is 6, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, 2 plus 4 is matching with 6, right? So here the uh, output will be 2 is at position 1 and 4 is at position 2, right? So 1, 2 will be the output. Here, if you see this, yeah, again, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So, 3, 0 and 1 will be the output. So, let us understand the approaches, like how can we uh, solve this problem. So, here, if we see this follow-up, we have to come up with the solution less than O of n square. So, we should not actually use O of n square. We should not actually go through the brute force approach. So through brute force approach, we can simply iterate each and every element and we can check like the sum should be equal to target, right? But here the hint is given. Let us walk through the hint once. A really brute force way would be to search for all possible pairs of numbers, but that would be too slow. So most like, like the most possibilities, we can get the time limit exceed exception. Again, it's best to try our brute force solution for just for completeness. It is from this brute force solution that you can come up with optimization. So we need to come up with the uh, optimization. So we, ha we have several ways we can uh, actually reduce the complexity of this uh, problem, right? So let me draw this. Uh, so let me draw this uh, example over here, right? So let's suppose we have we have an array. Three, nine, seven, one. Okay, and the target is what? Mm, let's suppose this is nine, right? So the target is seven plus one. Let's suppose it. Eight is the target. Okay, right. Now, let's, let us understand what could be the possible approach. The first approach would be brute force, right? So, the brute force approach means we need to check each and every pair. Like initially, we will start with, sorry, we will start with 5. We will check 5 minus 3 is equal to, sorry, sorry, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Okay? We got the target. 5 plus 9 is equal to 14, which is not a target. 5 plus 7 is equal to 12, which is not a target. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, which is not a target. Again, we will check with 3 plus 9, 12. 9 plus 7, 16. 9 plus 1 is equal to what? 10. And again, we'll check 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. So this is act this is also match with target, right? So the best case is like if we get two numbers at first and second index, right? And we can simply break 
like once we get the target we can simply break so but we need to think about the worst case scenario right we need to think about the worst case scenario the best case that is fine we are just getting in uh, we just got the uh, like uh, in first iteration we got the result but but we should not think about the best case we think we should think about the worst case right let's suppose if the target is let's suppose if the target is 16 okay so 5 plus 3 this is this will not match 9 plus 4, 5 also not match 7 plus 5 5 plus 1 3 plus so 9 plus 7 is only a single match right this right so we should always think about the worst case so in this case if we go through uh, with this approach our solution will be o of n into n because we are iterating each and every element right we will use two for loop i to n another for loop j to n and we will check if i plus j is equal to target right if we get this we can simply or return i and j indexes right but this is not a recommended approach right so what could be the other possible approaches mm, so we can use list we can use hash map so through these two approaches we can reduce our complexity to from n o of n square to o of n only with the help of single loop we can get the result and the, but here uh, one extra space complexity will be required that would be o of n right so let us think about like how can we solve this problem using list and hash map okay let me use uh, list approach okay so in both way because uh, in the even in list or hash map we can simply we have to store the values so how can we do this so this is one approach right we can simply add the element but the another way we can do is like we can simply use the target and from the target we need to subtract sub, subtract each and every element of the array and we check if that uh, let's suppose target is 16 okay and we have this phi 3 so if we check 16 minus phi is 11 right so 11 is exist in this list or not so 11 is not uh, exist in so we will check 16 minus 5 is equal to 11 is exist in list or not if it is exist then we can return indexes otherwise we will add this number phi into the list okay now we will check with 16 minus what 3 16 minus 3 is equal to what 13 this is also also not exist so the phi 10 is not present into the list right so we'll add 3 here into the list now the next element is 9 right 16 minus 9 is equal to 7 7 is also not exist into the list right so we'll add next element is 9 into the list then again the next element is 16 minus 7 is equal to 9 but this 9 is exist into the list so once we get any element a which is existing into the list we can simply return the index indexes 
we can simply return indexes this so this is our approach with the help of list so let us implement this logic with list first then we will come with okay so let me write the code over here right so first i will declare one list of integer store okay this is store in a list okay right so now um, that for loop into i is equal to zero i less than nums dot length right i plus plus and now i'll check if store dot right so if you store dot contains target minus what nums of i if this is then what we will return the uh, we will store the result right so here I will add one array here and result array two because we have to like the size should be two only because we have to return only two indexes right so here we can simply um, add the indexes right the i will be the first index and one at one we will get the store dot index of what target minus that number right we can simply return r index we don't need to further check <coughs> we can simply return r index We can simply return R else. We don't need to check for the R else. If it is not present, then in the store, we have to add what? Sorry, this nums of I. Right? And from here, we can simply return. Okay, let me run this uh, solution. Right, so these three cases are accepted. Let me submit this. Okay, so this solution is accepted. Run time is 285 ms. Okay, so let us. Uh, solve this problem with the help of hash map okay so if we are going through the hash map approach we can simply change this hash map with integer and integer integer and this should be map sorry this should be map and here this should be contents key okay so i'll add uh, so i'll add array element uh, as a key in the hash map here it should be put and this will be the indexes okay right okay right so here we will get the index of because uh, indexes uh, like indexes will be stored as a value and the array of element will be stored as a what as a key right so here we can simply uh, return the result of this uh, indexes right let me submit this right so all the test cases are passed let me submit this
so this is also accepted but here the run time is 2 ms why so we have used the list and we got our in that case run time was to 85 millisecond and in case of hash map the run time is 2 ms just so the reason is with this like if you are using hash map so the searching is fast in case of hash map it will just take o of 1 here we are searching right we are checking the contents like whether this uh, uh, value is uh, exist in the hash map or not so the complexity of searching of hash map is o of 1 but if you are using list in that case the complexity of searching if you are using contents method then the complexity will be o of n so this is the differences that that is why i have uh, like used both the uh, like i have used both the both the data structures like uh, list and hash map this is the reason like uh, if we are using list so the like uh, uh, we can say the uh, in that case uh, searching will be slow so that will uh, affect the performance but in case of hash map searching will be first so in case of hash map we will get a better performance as compared to list here in this case right so we can think like what could be the better uh, possible approach for uh, our solution right uh, whether uh, if you are uh, like if you are going to solve if you are going to apply list that that, that is also fine if you are going to apply hash map, hash map that is also fine but we need to understand like whatever the ready method we are going to use what could be the like a performance impact of those me those methods right like contains contains key so we can directly we are directly using these uh, like uh, uh, ready-made uh, methods but what could be the impact into the like uh, our solutions right thank you for watching bye bye